Hey everyone. Yeah, good morning. Uh, let me introduce myself. Myself, uh, Nasim Khan, and I'm having more than 14 years of IT experience. And in Microsoft, I'm having 88 plus years of IT experience. And uh, currently, I'm working in Cognizant as a technology architect. So today, I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, the MCP, Microsoft MCP, right? Which is GNO. So. Uh, I'll just show the step by step how we can transform our API into a Microsoft MCP server and then how we can make use of MCP servers in cursor I will uh, use and we can you know uh, uh, access our uh, backend data right so first we need to understand what is MCP right so MCP is an uh, open protocol we can say that standardize uh, how applications provide you know context to LLMs so we can think of MCP like a USB C port for AI applications so just as you know USB C provides a standardized uh, way to connect your devices to various uh, peripherals and accessories so in the same way uh, in the same way uh, MCP provides a standardized uh, way to connect AI models to different data sources and tools so Microsoft MCP is uh, is uh, in, in fact Microsoft MCP acts as a bridge between uh, the backend uh, data sources and tools and the uh, LLM AI agent right so we'll uh, see uh, how Microsoft you know implements this MCP and how we can uh, you know uh, in this uh, video, I'll show you how to create an MC MCP server with MuleSoft and how to turn a MuleSoft app into an um, MCP server, right? So, yeah. So first, uh, we'll see. Uh, the prerequisite for this is um, we need to have the latest version um, of Independent Studio and Mule runtime would be 4.9 uh, uh, or above and Java uh, 17, right? So let's start. Here we go. So first, why I'll do? Uh, I'll create new project, and I'll give a name as Mule Khan MCP Demo, right? So now click on Finish. So once its uh, project is created, so here we, if you have MCP over here, if you don't have MCP in the palette. Mule palette, then you can uh, click on the search in exchange and enter MCP. So, here you can see the asset for the MCP connector, right? So, we need to add the dependencies. So, first, uh, now you can say the latest version 110 is uh, added. So, you can select and then click on add and then uh, click on finish, right? So since I already added MCP, so we'll have um, so these uh, many connectors are available. So I'll use uh, the tool listener. So tool is nothing but we can refer as a uh, flow, right? So <clears throat> now in this one, we'll configure the connector settings. The basic settings. It will use the first HTTP listener. So now it will we can just test the connection as well so it's successful localhost 8081 port right this SSE is our uh, path so I can give MCP demo video okay so and here server name we can put uh, mule MCP server and version 1 oh, oh, right so now the mcp server basic, basic settings have been added so this is the tool name so let's see first i'll uh, uh, give the name retrieve retrieve employee employee name by id okay so there we can give the description retrieve employee name whites id and uh, parameter schema uh, will give uh, this one responses we can add payload dot draw 
okay so now it's added okay the connection the MCP uh, listener connections is done so now we'll just add the logger entered into retrieve employee name by its ID flow okay so now uh, transform message I'll add for the payload right for the source data so I have this I'll show you so here what I did I have added a array in array I have uh, added three uh, elements right for these uh, attributes employee ID employee name contact number address salary grade right so one uh, let's give a retrieve let's change the name as well retrieve employee name by ID <coughs> now by contact num <coughs> okay so again I'm gonna add different uh, <coughs> okay we need to add this MCP to listener so now we'll use the same MCP server connection settings and uh, now uh, we'll give the name as retrieve employee name by contact num alright and uh, we can give the description retrieve employee details why it's contact number <coughs> okay we'll copy the same parameter schema and responses we can add text payload dot raw so again I'll add logger And then transform message <coughs> so here also I have added uh, an array so in which I don't uh, I didn't add uh, grade and salary right and this contact contact number so now our mule API is ready so I'll run this project while it's running I'll open the cursor so first you uh, need to install the cursor in your system okay and then you need to uh, uh, go to the settings and search MCP tools so this window will be uh, uh, appeared so here we need to add MCPs add MCP server right so if you see here um, I have already added so local host this is the URL we need to give so we need to make sure that our MuleSoft uh, this uh, application should up and running right so I had given uh, this local host 8081 and uh, just let me see the path what we have given here MCP video right
so if you uh, click on add mcp server so it will it will you know um, take you to mcp.json so this is the uh, uh, json you need to form with mcp servers and mcp demo is that keyword and the url you need to give right so Yeah, so we can see this uh, two tools have been add loaded retrieve employee name by ID retrieve employee name by contact number so now let's start asking some questions right so we can put uh, can you tell me the employee name for employee ID 2 so it will uh, connect to this uh, this tools em retrieve employee by id so we can say see calling and retrieve employee name by id so we can just provide the approval from this tool so based on this employee id 2 name is umair khan so we can say so employee id 1 is nasim khan employee id 2 is umair khan right now i'll ask can you give employee details for contact number so now it should it should uh, invoke retrieve employee name by contact number right so see you can see here calling retrieve employee name by contact number so i'll provide the approval to run the tool so it will uh, you can say if you're looking for the specific contact number please let me know so it given all the uh, you know records for all uh, employee so if I can uh, give the let me give the employee contact number is 9818123018 okay so I want uh, I want the details for this employee ID whose contact number is 9818 so we can say employee ID 1 Naseem if you see here so employee ID 9818 for the Naseem Khan and for these records we have different employee number right even can you now we'll ask can you sum the salary for employee whose grade is a1 so we can see over here i have added the salary for and grade as well so a2 salary a2 salary is 1000 a1 for a man is 15000 a1 for is 1500 right so i have asked uh, sell to sum the salary for the grade a1 employee right so you can see the response based on the employee data I retrieved earlier let me calculate the total salary of employees for grade A1 so for the two employees we have grade um, A1 so salary 15,000 so now the sum is total 16,500 right so yeah this is the way we can you know <coughs> uh, uh, integrate our MCP servers with cursor AI so I hope I mean uh, you can also give it a try hope you like it and if you have any questions please comment in the um, video and uh, I'd request you to just like comment and subscribe yeah thanks a lot have a great day